I hit the lock button and you'll see my car headlight and beep. And then unlock. It was unlock. Hello, Keith here. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been having some problems with my car remote, but what happens is over time the contacts get dirty. So I took it apart. Here's my remote. There's just four buttons on it. So I took it apart and I'll see if I can get some close-ups of this for you too. So there, it consists of a PC board and the push button part. Now the push button part has four black pads that make contact with the traces on the PC board. So I'll see if I can get a close up. Those are the four traces. And they make contact with these four buttons, these four pads. So I started looking at it, well, let me get a close up of this. So I started looking at it and the darn battery clip, it holds, this, this uses a CR2032 coin battery. But the darn battery clip, one of the pins broke free from the solder. There's two pins on it. I'm going to redo the soldering on, these, on, the, on the battery clip. So that's what we're going to do today, do some soldering. Okay, sorry, that's the best I can do to zoom in. It loses focus. But what I'll do is take pictures, zoom, uh, macro lens, macro zoom picture. So oh, I have to get some solder here. What I'm going to do is put a clothespin on here to hold it down. This time I won't have to desolder it. Sometimes you have to desolder it and take the actual part out. But this will hold it down in place. I might be able to... See, I'm just going to add a touch of solder to it and let it blend in with what's what's there. Oh, it went down in place and I used the solder that was there. I'm going to give it a little touch on it. This is kind of like welding where you have a oxygen acetylene torch. I took that in high school shop and what you do is you do a circular motion, you get a little puddle of molten steel going then you have the, the welding rod and you dab it a little bit. We didn't learn a lot of fancy patterns, just a circular and a crescent. But anyway, I saw it went down into place. But I'm going to add a little touch of solder. Here we go. Give it some more strength. Now I'm going to do the other one too. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is go on the other side. And touch that up too. Why don't I go on this side here. That one went good. In fact, I'm going to... Okay, I think this side's done. So I'll do the other side and make sure they're okay. I'm going to have to clean that up too. So I have the clothespin centered in between the two points but 
so I have access to the two soldering. Okay, I solder out. I'll go ahead and try this side again. I don't need the clothes pin. So I'll go ahead and add solder. Looks like good solder joints now, so we'll get it back together and see what happens. We'll clean it up first. I'll get some Q-tips and alcohol. Yeah. Okay, I'll get some Q-tips and alcohol. I'll be back. <clears throat> 